question facing parents everywhere this morning is, of course, how do I talk to my own child about these terrible events? How can we explain the unexplainable? the inexplainable when it's difficult for even us to comprehend. Joining us now is journalist and author Willow Bay, who wrote the book on this topic, Talking to Your Kids in Tough Times, How to Answer Your Child's Questions About the World We Live In. She joins us from Los Angeles, and Willow was a former anchor here of this program. Willow, we want to welcome you back to the program. Thanks for being with us. Um, nice to be with you um, on what is really a, a tragic morning for, for all of us, for all parents and Willow, children I want to start by. Well, I want to start by asking you the question that, that we've been talking about this morning, all three of us being parents. How do we approach this topic? I know my kids were asking about it last night, where I would be this morning. How do you do it in a way that's compassionate and giving them the information they need, but not too much? So the first thing you want to do is establish that there's no question too scary for your child to talk about, to create a really safe and comfortable place for them to come and talk to you. The second thing you want to do is suppress the normal parental instinct to tell them everything. You want it to come from you. You want to be the one to tell them. But this is one of these situations where we need to do what we do as journalists and ask our children questions so we get a baseline on what they're understanding Understanding. Remember, they're processing unthinkable information and adult information with the minds of children. So you want to ask them questions like, well, what do you think about that? What have you heard about that? Are the kids at school talking about that? Just as a way of getting the conversation started and as a way of getting a more precise understanding of what exactly they know and they think to be the truth. And Willow, one of the questions I received from my 10-year-old daughter, one of the first questions out of her mouth was, why, Mommy? Why would someone do something like this? And you know what? I didn't have an answer for her. What do you tell your children, Willow, when they ask why? By the way, my 14-year-old, was that was the first thing he said to me, Mom, how, why would somebody do this? And I think in that situation, it's fine to answer truthfully, which is, I don't know. I think everybody is asking that question today. But then with a young child, particularly with a young child, because the young children think very concretely. They don't, they haven't mastered abstract thinking yet. Ask them, well, why do you think? Why do you think somebody would have made a choice like that? And it'll get them processing some of this information in, in their own way. And then you can steer the conversation to ways people could make better choices, for example. Okay, and one of the most important things is, of course, to make them feel safe. You heard a little girl I spoke to last night said so she's afraid to go back to school. Children everywhere will experience some of these feelings of anxiety. What do we say to them about feeling safe and knowing that they are safe? Well. Again, children, young children in particular, think very concretely. So it's very helpful to reassure them in very concrete and specific ways that they will be safe when they go to school. So you remind them that there are adults out there whose job it is to keep them That's safe, whether it's hear. policemen, their school That's principal, their teachers, and walk them through the safety measures in their school. There's a, there's a somebody standing at the front gate. There are drills that we do. Practice your drills. Again, very concrete and specific things that are going on in their school to keep them safe. Also, ask them for their own ideas. What do you think we can do to help keep you safer? What do you think would help you feel safer? Oftentimes, allowing them to participate will really help them feel better, but then always come back to reminding them that it's the job of adults, and there are a lot of us hard at work to keep them safe. Willow Bay, fantastic advice and advice that each and every one of us as parents around this entire country can use today as our children head back to school on Monday. Willow, thank you so much.